As a child, I never knew what I wanted to do with my life. One day I was a doctor, the next day a dancer, a big sister, a model. But I never knew all the things life had prepared for me. As I grew up, I was able to accomplish one or two of those, but I found myself looking for something more. I started volunteering because of that reason. Because even though I didn't know what to do with my life, I was certain that I wanted to make a change. I was already working for this nonprofit, and one day they told us that we were going to go and help an indigenous community. And we went there, and when we were getting closer, we could see the kids running around in the mud because it had rained a lot. And when we saw the kids, they were all starving. They had lice, they had ears or eyes or stomach infections. They were hiding on the tractors from the sun, and we couldn't see the parents. And they were very, very far away in the fields. They were working for more than 12 hours under the sun. They skipped all meals. They were struggling for every penny. And the most shocking thing was that we were the ones trying to help, and they were scared of us. In Mexico, we have over 9 million people living in extreme poverty. 70% of them are indigenous that have been forced to leave their homes and travel around the country searching for temporary jobs to sustain their families. They work in the fields in precarious conditions with no other choice but to bring their kids along or to leave them on the side of the road until they're done. This leaves the kids unprotected with no guarantee of medical services or food supply. All of them have infections that have to be attended immediately to avoid permanent damage to the ear or the eyes. Also, moving every four months makes education nearly impossible. The worst part is that some of them don't even exist. They have no papers that recognize them as citizens, and therefore there is no way they can demand their rights. They have no voice. They are foreigners in their own land. Having all this information, I couldn't stay passive, so I decided to change my heels for boots, my dresses for jeans, and use sunblock instead of makeup. I went the next day determined to make a change. I joined the program Navali in a permanent way. The goals we're striving for are to lower the mortality in infants and children under eight, caused by infections, anemia, dehydration, and lack of supervision, to provide kids with educational skills so they can have a better future, and three, to legally assist the families in the protection of their human rights. To do that, we focus on three main topics, health, nutrition, and education. We do regular checkups, teach them healthy habits like washing their hands, teeth and face, and take them to the hospital in cases of emergency. We provide them with two balanced meals and liquids. And finally, we follow a basic education plan created for their specific needs. But the most important thing, we give them a place where they can be kids again. When I was young, I never knew what I wanted to do with my life, but I had the right environment to figure it out. These kids have dreams. They know what they want. They have no way to make it come true. This makes me think of justice. Justice is not about everyone having the same things, but about all having the same chances to become who we desire, to find happiness and to reach our full potential. Since I joined in 2016, we have increased the number of kids attending the camps to over 400. More than 80 volunteers have joined we were able to afford 45,000 meals and almost 200 workshops, conferences, and classes. I have helped to implement health campaigns in cooperation with several universities. I have had meetings with government officials to find a better solution in the protection of their human rights, and also to create a group to teach women about self-empowerment. In order to make these projects possible, I raised funds, clothes, toys, and school material from private companies and families who wanted to get involved. Now as Miss Mexico, I have been able to travel the country raising awareness on how important these communities are to our cultural legacy, how to help them, and encourage people to join the cause. We finally have created a team to ensure sustainability through the participation of government, private companies, and the community. It's been a long way, but everything is worth it when you see them the next year. And they come running at you and they, they just say, teacher, I missed you. And then you know that they remember you and they know that you care. 
and they, they still want to learn, they want to play, they want to be kids. And then they have to leave again. And a piece of your heart goes away with them. I'm in love with Navali and with the people that have become my family. I came to them because I wanted to make a change, but instead they changed me. They made me stronger, they made me fuller, and they gave me purpose. Without knowing it, they were everything that I was looking for. I firmly believe that the only way to break the scarcity cycle they live in is to give them tools through education and making sure they grow healthy and strong. We have big challenges ahead, but I know that Miss World is the best platform to show the world that with the help of others, we can make the future of the kids unlimited, brighter, and full of hope.